Welcome back. Today we are taking another stab at the augmented whole tone sound. Uh, we are taking these augmented triads and grouping them in different ways, just like we did a few weeks ago. Uh, if, if you haven't checked that out yet, you might want to go uh, click the video that's either in the card over here or down in the description below uh, to check out what I'm talking about. I'm gonna try another version of that one. So that one was a group of three. That one, beep, ba, 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 ba. This is in groups of two going in whole step triads, augmented triads, so it sounds like this. Right, so it's the same as uh, before, right? So we're taking that group and then we're moving it up in half steps this time. Eight eighth notes and then we move up a half step. You keep going. So it's just taking this two groups of augmented triads and moving them up in whole step. So why should we practice this? Well, what we're trying to do is get really familiar with this whole step augmented triad pair. And because there's a lot of places where you can use that, but we have to get really familiar with these things first. You know, I always talk about with my students that on trombone, you mostly have to practice all these different shapes slowly before you're going to be able to play them in a solo, before you're, they're going to flow into your natural state of improvisation. So what I want you to do is take some little exercises like this and then uh, develop them, get super comfortable, get really fluid and flexible with these, uh, multiple tonguing, single tonguing, and then you can add them into your improvisations because they're under your slide, they're in your muscle memory. So when you go, oh yeah, I hear that lick, you have already practiced it. Because if you haven't already practiced it, there's pretty much no way that you're going to be able to uh, execute it on the trombone. It's just the trombone is a technical instrument and you have to kind of work it out beforehand. So I'm not saying you need to work out your solos, I'm saying you need to work out these various different lines and different ideas and shapes beforehand so that when you go to solo you have all of that in your back pocket so you can go and use it. So back to the lick. So we, what we do, like we said, we go up in half steps those two whole tone triads that are a whole step apart and then once we get to the top we come back down. So for just argument's sake, I'm going to top out at F. And then go down a half step. And then down a half step again. It's also a great time to work on alternates. As you can see, I'm using A in sixth, F in sixth, B flat in fifth. Uh, all those are coming in super handy. So why should we do this? We're trying to get this flow together. Again, I keep saying this flow of vocabulary, this flow of uh, sounds, this flow of shapes. And so if we take something like this, you can go all the way up and all the way down and try to get it up to a speed where maybe you can play like, something like that so you can actually use it when you're improvising so you can take this exercise as a starting place and I hope that you'll make your own variations of it uh, and share them uh, on your favorite social media and make sure you tag me at Nick Finzer so we can see uh, what you guys are working on so thanks for being here this is part two of the whole tone augmented triad pair uh, workouts and I hope you're enjoying these and we'll see you back here real soon for another lesson Thank you.